I'm going to go from the specific to the more general and philosophical, but the specific uh, deals with uh, Lake Bonneville and the work that I've done over many years on this. This is a particularly uh, useful uh, slide. It's from the north end of the Promontory Mountains. We know a lot about Bonneville from the shoreline, Bonneville shoreline, the Provo, which is Provo's here, Bonneville there. This shows a lot of these intermediate shorelines that had been sort of a mystery to us all uh, for a long period of time. We're not sure whether they uh, represent climate cycles or possibly uh, something else. Almost has to be climate, but uh, how long that had existed and what caused it uh, is sort of an unknown. So that's the specific. The next slide will be transitioning uh, to the maybe more general. And it's, you're going to see a picture of my favorite guy in the world of science. And my second favorite guy is this guy named Arvid Johnson, who published this book that was inspirational to me as an undergraduate, got going in the direction I did. Gilbert performed the normal operations of gathering and classifying field data, mapping and describing. But he had an additional goal. He tried to understand what he saw in each outcrop. He refused to interpret natural, natural phenomena without following sets of mechanically, mechanically sound rules or without imagining an analog between the geologic process and a process with which he was familiar. So this is what got me interested in sort of the physics of describing uh, different uh, natural phenomena and particularly what's in uh, Lake Bonneville and how we use computer models and phys uh, sound physical re uh, reasoning to understand the circulation patterns and so forth. Well, um, as a scientist, I love field work. I love going out in the field. I love computers and I love math and I love simulations. I don't like lab work. That's just a reality. Sorry, I appreciate lab work, but I don't like to do it myself. So my latest thing that I like is what's called LIDAR. It can be either ground-based or airborne. And I love it because it's a machine that gives you a million data points in one hour. And that's my kind of machine that you don't get in the lab. And the sort of thing that I'm working on uh, trying to use uh, this basic philosophical approach I have uh, to understanding uh, Earth science. Great.